Alright everyone, a little quickie here on Staten Island. Uh, I've been on this Jeep for oh, about, about an hour. It's a 2008 Jeep Patriot. The original trouble code was, let's see here, don't pay attention to those, vehicle history, view, first scan, C102B, right rear wheel speed sensor circuit. All right. The shop already replaced. A little loud in here. Wheel speed sensor. The hub. Another wheel speed sensor. We got an OEM one. Same code. Didn't fix it. Called up Keith. He's, Keith sent me over here. Now I'm doing this post diagnosis. So I'm not going to show you uh, too much. It's more of a an approach to finding wiring problems. Here's our ABS wheel speed sensor. Two wires, it's a digital type. This yellow with a green stripe, that is just a ground. And the green, the dark green with a light blue stripe, that is our signal wire. And we're supposed to have battery voltage on here on a good system. Now, battery voltage sensor unplugged, and when you plug the sensor in, it goes from like 11 and a half to 10 volts, okay? Here's the wiring diagram. So we're going after this right rear twisted pair right from the ABS anti-lock brake module. Okay? Wiring problems. For wiring problems like this, where you have a problem at the sensor, but at the module we have good voltage. You have, to, uh, you have to poke some holes, I'll be honest. There's only one intermediate connector in this whole system, and uh, I'll show you where I poke the holes. So here's the ABS module. There's our bulk connector. This is the main harness right here. So here's where I started. There's our pair yellow and green and the uh, light green and blue stripe. So I poked a hole right here. We had 11, 11.5 volts, meaning open circuit, but at the sensor, first we had 6 volts, then we had 5 volts, then 2 volts, so definitely an open, open wire somewhere, because if it was shorted to ground, it would be pulling the whole leg down. So we're looking for an open wire. Now let's bisect this system. I could not find a diagram of the wiring colors, so I went by intuition. I peeked under here, and luckily we see the harness right here. So I poked a hole right there in that uh, dark green and light blue wire, and we had the same low voltage condition right here, like 2 volts. So the problem is further upstream. Okay. And uh, I will seal all these holes up, I promise. Next up, we're over here behind the kick panel. Luckily these come off pretty easily. Not too much drama. Uh, let's see, uh, at least gotta show you a visual, right? Let's see, that comes off, that comes off. It's kind of hard work single handedly. There we go. There's the harness. There's our twisted pair. Yellow and blue. Dark green. Light blue. Low voltage here. Okay. Back to the front of the vehicle. There's a bulk connector, which I actually accessed from the fender here. This guy. There's our twisted pair, right there, there's that yellow wire. We had high voltage over here, I measured on this side of the connector, again this wire right here, little hole. We had high voltage on here, so we're good past this connector, and then this harness goes up around the fender liner, through the firewall, through the firewall, and up freaking up there 
And yes, I reached there with a piercing probe and poked the wire. Low voltage, right here. So, we narrowed it down from the firewall to that connector. Now again, this all takes time, but it's necessary. So, finally, I opened it up right here. Right there. And we had low voltage. And now we're really close from here to the connector. Good, low voltage. And actually, by the time I got here and poked this hole, I had zero, or like an open, open circuit. Now, really close. Going for the home stretch. I see green crusties in the OEM wiring harness. So we're gonna open this up. I haven't done that yet. That will do that live, and hopefully we'll find the broken wire. And we'll start with the Keith tug test. So I assume the brake is right here. It's gotta be it. So I'm gonna just pull on this guy right here at the connector. Whoa, don't fall. Right, let's do it. And it's a twisted pair, so it might be a little tough. Here it comes. Got it. Beautiful. And so it reaches right down here where we see the green crusty. So we're gonna unwrap this, guys. So you open the tripod so it's nice and steady. So I work with two hands. Get some nice uh, instrumentation in the background. Oh, check that out. The green and the crusty. All right? What the heck is going on? I don't know if this is a previous repair. If it is, then shame on the person who repaired it. I think indeed we have a little jumper. You guys see? Gotta lift you up a little bit. Sorry about the shaky shaky. Yes, 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 yes. There's green crusty. I like that music a lot better. <laughs> Thank you. Put that on the video. All right, guys. There's one side of the wire. Where's the other side? Erico would have uh, cut up this harness real quick. We should just get a razor blade and slice this uh, tape off here. Oh, come on. We'll unwrap it. This is a low point in the harness, so all the moisture. I wonder if that last segment recorded. But here is the crappy part of the harness that gets all the water. It's a low point from the wheel. All the water just rests here and messes these wires up. And that's what happens here. Let's keep unwrapping this. Alrighty. So, there's our yellow and dark blue. It's alright. Oh, come on. There's. That's the side coming from the connector. That's the side coming from, uh, let's see here. So I don't know. No, I, I don't think it's been repaired before because these little wraps of tape, they just hold the twisted pairs together. That's an original OEM harness brake. That's it. We'll fix this up and this car should be good to go. So I'll show you the repair.
All right, so we got all the port holes fixed up with liquid electrical tape. This is great stuff. Because if you leave any holes exposed, it's gonna turn into this mess. So now we have some shrink wrap on the wire. We have a little clip. So our soldering iron, hot enough, tinned. Now we'll heat up the section and just touch a little solder in there. And the wire should be hot enough to flow the solder over that junction. We'll have a nice. Come on, make sure your wire is clean. I use a little sandpaper. Clean the wire off. Ah, you can always reposition your wire. I use flux core solder, it already has flux in it, so it just flows over the junction. And if it looks something like this, you're in good shape. You got solder all the way around, it's not going anywhere. So, final step take off the clip, slide the shrink wrap right over. Take a little lighter to it. And this shrink wrap has that glue inside of it. It's the good stuff. We'll seal that right up. Now we'll wrap this wire individually with electrical tape and then wrap the whole harness. It's a little wet here, but I guess you can't prevent that since it's a kind of a low spot. Let's see here. The awesome Scotch Super electrical tape is what you need for the jobs like this. So let's just wrap up this wire individually. You don't want any comebacks, right? Entire harness with the same Scotch electrical tape. We'll try to make it better than factory, right? Nice and Nice and shiny. I guess we should verify our repair, huh? Before uh, reconnecting everything here or taping it up. But I am confident that this will indeed fix our issue. Almost done. So let's uh, clear out the codes. Let's see, clear codes. Yes, awesome. And if there's a circuit fault, it'll flag it right away. 
So let's see, pending codes, no codes present. Active codes, no codes present. Sweet. Let's go to our data, spin the wheel, and make sure we have a reading on the scanner. Let's see, custom. We just want. So we flip that switch over there. The wheel speeds. Let me bring the scanner outside and we'll spin the wheel. All right, I'll focus you in on the right rear wheel speed. Kick this wheel over. Nice. Awesome. So, I'm gonna button her back up, and this car should be good to go. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. So, I thought I missed something in the video footage. I was reviewing one of the clips, and it looked like you know, we pulled the one wire out, the, uh, the green wire, and then the other part broke off, but then there was like still something sticking out of the harness. And sure enough, when I was cleaning up here, I found it. This was a previous repair, indeed. There's green and crusty on that side. And this side, <laughs> it looks like it was twisted. Let's see. Get a little close up. It was definitely twisted soldered a little bit and then just wrapped in electrical tape that's that's a no-no for this environment you have to use shrink wrap and completely seal your repair so someone was already here awesome so anyways let's button her back up and just a little bonus footage because I thought I was seeing double there's three wires and then there's only two wires there's a third wire little jumper. Okay, cool.